everybody thanks for coming back to the channel i do appreciate you taking time to watch these videos as always um, and i apologize it's been a bit of a time since i did my last video but what i'm doing today is just going to the boat it's been very very windy lots and lots of very heavy rain and so i just want to make sure that the boat's okay and i'm just going to the water out the holding tank um, that i've had in there for the last few weeks just to help be used to help wash down the boat So I'll talk to you a second when I get back to the boat. In the meantime, I'll play a bit of music. So there she is, sitting in the mud, looking all lonely. Now what should have happened by now is that she should have been lifted out a few weeks ago, but there's been some issues with some of the equipment. Um, but let's get on, empty that water tank, and I'll show you a couple of jobs that I've already got lined up and need to be done during the winter. When I fill the boat with water through the filling point just there, it goes into a holding tank on this side of the boat. So it's sitting under the cockpit floor under here, under these little lockers. So what I'm going to do is just put the electric on and pump it out. So let's turn the power on. This is the hose for the water. So then we just need to switch the water on. And that should work. Look, 
looking at water coming out of the tank can be a bit boring, so I thought I'd show you my latest costs. So my financial year for running the boat goes from September to August. In the current period, I've had to renew the boat, so £354, that's a difference of £1 over the previous year. My boat lift out costs, the boat's still to be lifted out, as I said in this video, and then £20 fuel cost was purely for um, spare fuel when we went out fishing. Whilst we do that, um, so there are a couple of jobs I've got to get done this winter. So the first being that the plotter is no longer speaking to the radio with its um, latest coordinates. So I've got to get that done and I'll show you what's made me suspect about that. And then if you've watched some of my previous videos, where I put that corner up there, that screw through to hold that part of them some visor on it went through uh, the top of the roof so i'm going to have to repair that when it comes out as well so i've i've spoken to uh someone that can look at the stereo for me not stereo the plotter pardon me um and the uh radio and i've already got the um, gel coat repair kit i did use last year to do the uh repair on the roof so i'll show you that in just a second here in the head compartment, you've got this panel. So push that up, he says. That will come out. And so, there's some wiring. And I did see there's some loose wires here. I'm not sure if you can quite see that just there. So there are a couple of loose wires there that I can see. I've not touched it. And so I'm going to get the expert to look at that. I've got a feeling that that might be part of the reason why the plotter is not talking to the radio. Just close that. And then the other repair that I do need to do, as I say, it's, it's totally my fault. And it's down to where I put that screw through the roof. So I've got the gel coat repair for it. And so, just yeah. A month of um, expense, about 600 pounds I think it is. Um, and some repairs to do when I get the boat out of the water. Not much of an update this month overall, but I'll um, hope you like the video and I'll post another video as I get the boat out of the water and some of the initial jobs I start doing. Until next time, take care, bye bye.